Welcome to Over the Years. My name is Tim, and I love vintage items. I hunt for treasures and bring you the ultimate prizes of antiques, collectibles, and vintage decor. Join me, my dukes, my girlfriend Josie, and other guests as we search for history. Sorry for the echo. That was my bad. I had it on my YouTube. Ah, sorry. <laughs> it's just been one of those days, ladies and gentlemen. It has been one of those days. I am here. This is over the years. Welcome to the live vintage sale. Josie's putting on her fancy dancy glasses. I have to be able to see, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josie, you want to tell everybody the news because uh, something happened since we last saw everybody? Yeah, absolutely. So just to catch you guys up, uh, I was able to officially purchase the home. So no more stressing about, you know, going to settlement. All the paperwork has been signed. It's done. And Tim and I are so excited, uh, you know, to finally be able to call a place our own and call it home. Uh, although we won't be able to move in until summertime, it's still, you know, an accomplishment of its own. Yes. So I will be living out of a suitcase in between place <laughs> for the next couple of months. So much fun. Yeah. But I it's mean, gonna make it's gonna make moving into the house extremely like even better, I think. But yeah. I, I'm hoping it's before summer, so we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see, you know. We got put our ducks in a row and make sure everything's in order, you know. Yes. Some renovation. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be an interesting ride. I, I am excited. It will be cool because Josie and I can do the live sales in the same place together, and we don't have to do it like this. That's just just it takes a lot of work out of me, and and then you know Josie has to chime in from another place. So, yep, <sighs> it's uh it's interesting. But I want to thank everybody for joining us as always. Uh, the house is in D.C. So I want to thank everybody for joining us. As always, we really appreciate everybody's love and support. Am I handy? Sue wants to know. I can be. <laughs> My In what way? <laughs> Are you guys serious right now? Tim. How yeah. many things have I fixed for you, Mom? Plenty. You've gotten better at it. Let's put it Thank that you. Way. I can't wait to see you sweat your self silly. <laughs> Mowing the lawn, that's going to be my favorite part. Well, it's, oh, it's just going to be curse word yeah. after curse word. And yes, you are going to be able to, you know, mow the lawn in the back. It's going to be a lot of grass. It's, that's just how it is. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> you don't look like you are ready for that. No. My Duke's over here wilding out already. We what, only what like, did she say? We're only five say? minutes into it. No, no, no censorship. What did she say? No, you. Sh she tried to you know blame me for something she did. <laughs> I did not. All right, so let's say hello to the lovely, beautiful people in the chat. Sue Powell checking in from Florida. What's going on, Sue? Thank you for joining us, Michelle. Hello, holding Michelle. Down holding down the fort, Michelle, as always. Maria is in the building. What's going on, Maria? And Kevin says, hey, hey, hey. Hello, Tim, Josie, and the best for last, Ma Dukes. Don Jean is in the building. What's going on, Don? How you doing? Miss Trisha from Sandy Auto. Ma Dukes was having a blast watching uh, her live sale this, what was that, Saturday? Yeah, I was so tired after that fairy light auction that I had to go to bed. I was exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Janice checking in from Iowa. What's going on, Janice? And the one, the only Sugar Tots is in the building. What's going on, brother? Carrie Ann, Carrie Ann. Hello, hello. Thomas Lynch, what's going on? Amber Resells, what's going on? So she was actually, if you guys aren't subscribed to Amber Resells' channel, make sure you guys are subscribed. She was on Tommy and Tracy's show. Um, I forget what night that was. Friday night, Saturday night. All my nights are mixed together now. But she, it was a great interview. Um, she's tons of fun, and uh, she's really good at Poshmark. So you guys should definitely give her a um, sub subscribe to her channel for sure. Great stuff. 
Great stuff. Nancy Duke. What's going on, Nancy? How you doing, Nancy? Chad is in the building. What's going on, Chad? Checking in from Maryland. Connie, what's going on, Connie? Hope all is well. Julie Schwartz is in the building. What's going on, Julie? Mr. Larry Riley. What's up, Larry? Hope all is well. Christina is here. Hello, hello. Tree is me. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Proud American is in the building. Jackie, Jackie, wait us. What's going on, Jackie? Hope all is well. Everybody's saying Josie looking good. Sue is here. My Dukes is laughing because she's ahead in the chat already. And then Nettie's in the building. What's going on, Nettie? Thank you for joining us. And Mr. Tim, Glock30, what's up, brother? Thank you for stopping by and supporting as always. And we got a first timer, Calypso Antiques Cat. What is going on? Thank you for joining us. Vicky Bluebird is here. And some more congratulations. Looking forward to her first home purchase. Had to wait until next year. It's been a it's been a while. It's been a process for us too. It's been a year, a yearly process. Let's be, yeah. you know, let's be certain that we put it out there. It wasn't like you know we had to get our. Oh, I had to get my taxes right. <laughs> I had yeah. to, you know, make sure that credit score was up there. I had to make sure that you know paperwork was in order. But I'll tell you what, I won't disclose too much because I don't know if I'll get in trouble for this. But the paperwork after settlement wasn't all right. Let's just put it that way. And, you know, this is, yeah. Pages and pages and pages. And then pages. Pages and pages. Victoria is in the building. What's going on, Vicky? Catherine Young is here. Little Thrifter on the Prairie. Diane, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it as always. Who else we got here? Did I miss anybody? Did I miss? Wake up with the rooster. Checking in from California. April Davis is here. Who else? We got Mary Cox is in the building. What's going on, Mary? And Gamma211 is here. Hello, hello, hello. Appreciate shout out. I creep on the last show there once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Hendricks. Hello, hello. My man Steve from Back Alley Trash and Treasures, TNT Dynamite. Jennifer Lab Mama stopping by for a minute. Pray for Boulder right now. Yeah, I saw I saw that on the news. There was an Whoa. active shooter at the grocery store in Colorado. So definitely um, sending out our prayers to everybody in uh, the in Colorado for sure. Mm-mm. You might lose me. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just got a message. I guess the, the Macari must have taken down one of my listings. It's been one of these days, ladies and gentlemen. Why she would they do that? The building. I don't know. I guess they said it. I don't know what they took down. I don't know if they took down um, either the hatchet or the billy clubs. The billy clubs definitely got taken down. Uh, it looks like it was the hatchet. They took the hatchet down. Why? They said it was looks like it had a knife on it. So there's that. Angela Marksbury. Shout out to Angela Marksbury. She's got the new awesome t-shirts that uh Josie said we need to get. Oh my one. god. It has have all to get two. people from the vintage community and it has their pets' names inside of like paws on the oh shirt. So Ace is on there. So we definitely gotta uh get one of those. Shout out to Angela Marksbury. She's always holding everybody down in the vintage community. Deanna Church is in the building. Marlene, White Barn Thrift, what is going on? And there goes Carissa, Cr Cricket Harrington, says she got her beautiful pink dish. That's good to know. Pete's in the building. What's going on, Pete? Pete? Pete. Chicago lady here as well. All right. <laughs> Look, Pete says I need to find a lucky hat. Josie is, I don't know where is my hat. It's somewhere at your house. Look, I have... I, I, I didn't I message you. I think I told you that you left it here. I have it right here for you. No. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I guess you can never take what, it off. That's obviously what has happened today. You can't take it off ever again. <laughs> didn't have my hat on, and this is what happened. All right. Damn, I got a leak in this week. Yeah. Okay. So now that we've said our hellos and we've done the shaking of the hands and the kissing of the babies, let's go over the rules and the regulations for tonight's live vintage 
sale. Mm -hmm. All right. So if this is your first time shopping with us at Over the Years, we are shipping from the state of Maryland. We do do our best to make sure that we keep your shipping costs as low as possible without sacrificing the safety or integrity of your item. And let me show you quickly how this live sale will work. So I will first show you an item. And after I show you that item, I will show you a card. That card will contain a price. Then I will remove this. And the first person to put this number in the chat will win the item for this price. Now, it, you must put in the correct number uh, just so that there are no, um, you know, no, no confusion at all. So it has to be the correct number. And please remember that it is the first person that Josie sees in her chat. It might look different on your end than it does on our, our end because sometimes there is an internet lag. Make sure you have your live chat option open on YouTube, and if need be, refresh. Um, that might help sometimes as well. <clears throat> now, what we do here at Over the Years is we do our best to make sure that we um, can give you guys the best price possible. Uh, we typically price things anywhere between 20% and 50% less than what we would list the items for on eBay, Etsy, or Mercari. Um, if there's any questions at any point in time, please do not hesitate to ask. We are here to help, um, and we're going to have a lot of fun. There's some words in here that I have to try to say that I'm sure I'm going to butcher, and I know you guys enjoy that. So you guys grab your popcorn, grab your, your drinks, and get those fingers ready because it is time to rock and roll. All right. First item on the docket. Let's start with this. All right. The first item available in tonight's live sale is going to be this awesome. Let me turn the light on a little bit. Is going to be this awesome mid-century modern bird planter. As you can see, it does have the planter here, and it has the cute little bird right there, and it is in fabulous condition. No chips, no dings, no cracks. This is probably from the 1950s, I would say. There is no marking on the bottom, but it is awesome color court, uh, combination. You kind of have like this sort of, uh, I guess, almost like a Blackberry, raspberry. raspberry, yeah, and then you have the green and the yellow, just a really, and I really love the ribbed edges on the bottom too, it makes it really stand out and pop, so it is about five and three-fourths inches wide, and at its tallest point, it is four and a quarter inches tall, and this mid-century modern bird and flower planter can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $13 if you give me number 22. Number 22 for $13 gets you the Bird and Flower Mid-Century Modern Planter. An awesome piece. Number 22 for $13 gets you the bird. Congratulations to Cricket Harrington. Winner, winner. Planter dinner. Planter dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right. Let's see what we got. Fenton ducks. All right. Next up. Quack Attack is back, Jack. We got the Mighty Ducks. Here we have two little duckies. And you can see these are adorable little ducks here. Just in time for Easter. And these are actually made by Lefton. And let's just see this one right here. Really, really cute, and they're in really good condition, as you can see. 
And this one is like turning his head backwards. It's pretty cool. Uh, yes, they are left in. And they're about three and three fourths inches tall. Jenna says she just got her beautiful blue crackle glass pitcher. That is awesome. Nice. And this pair of Lefton ducks can be yours for the low price of only $13 if you give me number 27. Number 27 for the pair of Lefton ducks. Congratulations to Victoria H. Congratulations, Vicky. Winner, winner, left in dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. Yeah, they are very cute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Next up, we're going to jump into some McCoy. All right. Here we have a awesome McCoy. <laughs> folks all over those ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a McCoy grape pitcher and an awesome color scheme. So you kind of have like this light sort of turquoise mixed in with the brown and the cream. I love the uh, handle, how you have kind of have this like gap right there too. And you can see it is uh, an ewer or a vase or a pitcher vase or a pitcher, whatever you want to do, get clever with it. It is a gorgeous piece, and it is signed McCoy on the bottom. Mm. As you can see, hopefully, there it goes. Signed McCoy on the bottom. And this picture ewer at its tallest point measures to be nine and a quarter inches tall and i'm gonna give you guys a steal of a deal on this mccoy piece right here this mccoy pitcher can be yours for the low price of only 13 dollars if you give me number 20. number 20 for 13 dollars gets you this mccoy ewer pitcher vase very lovely piece at a very good price. McCoy, love McCoy. Overtime, Jesse. Overtime, it is. All right. Get him excited. You know they can hear you when you talk. <laughs> You're muted, Josie, by the way. It's okay. I just have a lot of visitors over here. and Yeah, I know. You I just know. wanted you to – wasn't sure if you knew that. Okay. Lat Latinas are loud, you know. All right. Yeah, everybody heard you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know how many times I have to tell you this, but okay. So my Dukes insist that we go to the Oh, home. my gosh. I would like that myself. Yes. So nice. That blue. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. some cobalt blue right cobalt there. Cobalt blue, hen on nest. It is a hun. As you can see, and I mean, look at that in up against the light. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'll show you the insides. Yeah. And the bottom. Mm. An absolutely gorgeous piece. All right. So I'm going to give you the measurement from the tail to the beak. Uh, and that is about six inches. And at its tallest point, it is about four and three-fourths inches. Now, right now, I'm seeing these uh, Cobalt Blue Huns listed on eBay for anywhere between $38 and $45. But I'm going to give you guys a steal of a deal. This Blue Hun Cobalt Blue Glass Hen on Nest can be yours for the low price of only $17 if you give me number one. 
Number one for $17 gets you the Cobalt Blue Hen on Nest. All right. Congratulations to Jackie. Jackie. Trigger fingers. Winner, winner. Hen on Nest dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. I'm laughing at you. My Dukes is all over the place. Grandma said that she had one that she kept expired candy corn in it. (laughs) Oh, look at that go. Jackie, you are fast. All right. Let's do this guy next. Lock. <laughs> okay. Kitty kitty cat. Yes, we will do the kitty kitty cat. <laughs> so angry right now. You said you're. What's going on? <clears throat> All right. Next up, we have. The Siamese cat with the green eyes. Hmm. Focus. There it is. Look at those eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Little rhinestones. Little green rhinestone eyes with the red bow. There's the back. That's a healthy cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it does have the Japan sticker on the bottom, as you can see. Yeah, probably the 1950s. And it's about four inches from front leg to back leg. And at its tallest point is about two and a half inches tall. And this green eye thick kitty can be yours Healthy. for a low price of only $11 if you give me number 29. What are you laughing at oh, now? Everybody's so funny tonight. <laughs> My dudes. Number 29. Congratulations to Thomas Lynch. Congratulations, winner, winner. Green Eye Dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right. Um, you guys want to make things glow early? Let's glow. Let's get things glowing. Mm. Let's get things glowing. All right. Next up, we have this Fostoria glass. And so this is a originally a candy dish. Now, this would have a lid that goes with it. But I don't have the lid, and I think that this is still a very cool piece. If I had a lid, I probably wouldn't have put it in the sale because it's like a $75 piece. Now, uh, this is made by Fostoria glass. You can tell by the way that the divided parts arch up like that. And I think it would be really cool if you have a uranium glass display. You can display your uranium glass marbles inside of it or uranium glass jewelry inside of it. There's a lot you could do. If you had cruets, you could fit those inside there. It's just I think it's a really awesome piece. Now, it is – let me give you the measurements and then we'll show the glow. So it measures to be about seven inches wide and about two and a quarter inches tall. All right. They want us to show the glow. There she is. Mm. Yep. It's a glower. You look at it kind of like that. It looks like a big Mercedes Benz sign. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Wow. I'm, I'll wear this around my neck. You know no, it's not. Let's not do that. No, because I know you would. All right. And this Fostoria divided glass uranium candy dish display piece can be yours for the absolutely low price of only. if you give me number 
41. Number 41 gets you the Faustoria glass Mercedes Benz dish. Uranium glass. <laughs> so it's like flavor, flavor. <laughs> For fitting dollars. Congratulations to Back Alley Trash and Treasure. Congratulations, winner, winner, Mercedes Benz dinner. Congratulations, Steve, and welcome to the party. Right. Do some more animals. <laughs> what? <laughs> I hear your mom just say, we got to do some more animals. <laughs> yeah. She's on one tonight, I'm telling you. I love it. On a roll, on a roll. All right, we'll do we'll do another animal. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? All right. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So up next is going to be. Let me turn the light on. Up next is going to be this little baby mouse here. Mm. It is a, oh, it's nurse, a nurse. It's a nurse mouse. And she's got the pills and the nurse apron and the nurse hat. And it is made by Joseph. And it has the tag with it still. Mm. It says Nurse Mouse Village by Joseph Originals. It has the sticker still on it as well. And this little cutie at its tallest point is about two and three fourths inches tall. And this nurse mouse can be yours for the low price of only $11 if you give me number 30. Number 30 for $11 gets you the cute little nurse mouse. Congratulations to Rachel Hay. Rachel Hay, winner, winner, nurse dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. So this is over time. Yeah. Oh, you keep just. Okay, what do you want? What do you want? I want to clear this space over here. I would always do. All right, so if you guys follow us on Instagram, you will notice this absolutely gorgeous piece of glass. I meant to bring I meant to bring the picture and share it with you guys on the live so you could see it if you haven't seen it. But we took some beautiful pictures of this item in the natural light and it was absolutely gorgeous an amazing amazing piece and it is etched with the flowers as you can see and the etching is a little different on the sides now this was originally a candy dish it came with the top it was made by jeanette glass in around the 1930s uh, and it was nicknamed Daisy J was the name of the etching and or pattern. And it is an absolutely stunning piece. It's got a couple of little scratches. Um, but besides that, in fabulous condition. And if you look and see the way that we displayed it, you'll actually see how gorgeous this piece is when the light comes through it. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, so this piece... Measures to be about six inches tall, and it can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $17 if you give me number 43. Number 43 for $17 for the absolutely stunning caramelized sugar amber etched glass candy dish vase display piece. It is a beautiful, beautiful item. You just have, you have to see it, the picture. Congratulations to Nancy Duke. Congratulations Nancy. Winner. winner, winner, caramelized sugar dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right, let's do this. All right. 
My God, I'm losing my mind right now. All right, next up, we have this absolutely stunning piece of Amberina glass, the Hob Star pattern. Uh, now, on the arches right here, like there are some like flea bites, it looks like where you know that cut glass is sort of rugged, rugged. um it's kind of hard to really see it but there are just like these little like sort of flea bites around here but this piece is absolutely gorgeous example of amberina glass now just checking that i didn't miss mine i don't know what you oh no she's talking to sandy okay so this also does glow orange. So you guys, somebody want to see, show the glow? Somebody say it in the chat. Show your glow. Go ahead, Mom. You're, in a, you're, on, you're on your own time now. But look at that, baby. Oh. Oh, it's gorgeous. So sharp. Yeah. Really, really pretty. Whoa, Mom. All right, and this tumbler measures to be approximately four inches tall, and it's going to be a steal of a deal for you guys tonight. $11 if you give me number eight. Number eight for $11 gets you this gorgeous Amberina tumbler. Congratulations to Maggie Sue. Meg Soup. Congratulations, winner, winner, and Barina dinner. And welcome to the party. All right. These little guys. All right. Next up, we have these, like, they're like these pixie figurines. Okay. And they're like in their polka dot pajamas and they're chilling, relaxing. Whoa. That's nice. So, like, this guy lays down like that. They're really, really interesting. And these are probably 1950s also, I'd say. They are labeled or uh, inscribed Japan on the bottom of each one. Um, uh, Josie, you want to uh, mute some? Somebody is talking Are my about people it. really loud. Yeah, they, they're talking about it in the chat. All right. So you have the two pieces of pixie figurines. Chillaxin, indeed. Steal of a deal on these two pieces. You can get both of them for one low price of only $11. If you give me number 32, number 32 for $11 gets you this one and this one. Congratulations to Pam's Eclectic Place. Congratulations, Pam. Winner, winner, pixie dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. Ooh. Yeah. Good price. Uh, quite... Popular little guys. Yeah. All right. So next up is going to be some mid-century modern vibes. Now, this is Hall China. Uh, and you can see this is a refrigerator dish. Super mid-century modern, as you can see. Well, I really like Hall China, obviously, because I like how they mix... Um, I like how they mix Art Deco with uh, mid-century modern, and I think that this is, you know, one of those perfect uh, examples of that. And the it is made exclusively for Westinghouse, which is super interesting. I like that. Now the only problem is is that there is a crack on the side and if you can see that crack right there now you can't see it when it's displayed on either side right here but um 
it, you can only see it from the side right there. So I am going to give you guys a really cheap price. Now, this is an awesome piece. For um, display, yeah. yeah, for display and just the fact that it is made uh, exclusively for Westinghouse by the Hall China Company. Um, and it measures to be four inches tall and it is seven inches wide and i wonder if they came with the fridge purchase that's a good question because they, they made a whole different line of them and they also made some for general electric so that's definitely a possibility for sure that's that's a good point angel it can be yours for only nine dollars if you give me number 23 Number 23 for nine dollars gets you the whole China refrigerator dish. Joseph. Yes. Congratulations to Irene Fink. Winner, winner, Westinghouse dinner. Congratulations, Irene, and welcome to the party. All right. Let's do this. All right. Next up, we have this gorgeous ice blue condiment jar. And Josie, mute yourself again, Josie. I'm sorry. And so it is the a basket weave down there at the bottom. And you have the cherry cluster at the top. And it has a little spot there for a spoon. And there it is. An absolutely gorgeous piece. And at its tallest point, it measures to be about four and three fourths inches tall. And it can be yours for the low price of only $11 if you give me number 10. Number 10 for $11 gets you the ice blue cherry basket condiment jar. Congratulations to Andrea Guffey. Andrea, congratulations. Winner, winner, cherry jam dinner. And welcome to the party. All right. Uh, you want to pass me the gold bowl? All right. Next up, we have some of that mid century modern gaudy gold we love. Look at that beauty. This is the Holly Ross pattern and it is distinguished china holly ross or the weeping bright challenge uh we challenge blah, 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 blah. the weeping bright is the pattern the maker is holly ross distinguished china 22 carat gold and you can see it is in fabulous condition now this particular shape of the of the line is a little bit harder to find and in really good condition. And this one is absolutely stunning, a beautiful piece. And you can see the pattern up close. Look who's in the building. Joey, Joey Bada Bing. What's going on, Joey? Thank you for joining us, brother. Hope all is well. If you guys aren't subscribed to your local mailman, Joey Bada Bing is your guy. Make sure you guys go over to his channel and subscribe. He's a ton of fun. So this vase measures to be four and a quarter inches tall, and it can be yours for the low price of only $13 if you give me number six. Number six for $13 gets you the 22 karat gold painted vase ruffles. I mean, look at that. It's a beaut. Congratulations to Christina Gonsolwiski. I hope I'm saying it properly. Congratulations, Christina. Winner, winner, gold dinner. And welcome to the party. All right. 
let's do this guy. Okay, so this is actually kind of one of my favorite pieces here. She says you were close. <laughs> oh, man. All right. You can see my Dukes in the reflection. <laughs> oh, that's frightening. All right. So here we have, this is made by Westmoreland Glass. It is marked on the bottom right there, as you can see. There it goes, Westmoreland. Now this is um, black, or I mean, it's amethyst glass, but it's uh, it's it's black. It's like that really dark purple, but it's re commonly referred to as amethyst glass. Now there's a little bit of uh, rough spots around this edge right here. Um, I can feel them. You can't really see them, but you, I can feel them. But I just thought that this little display piece, it's four feet, is really cool. I mean, you could put stones in there sugar and like uh, you, my dude says you could put sugar packs in there. But I would think it would be even cooler if you put the stones in there. What do they call those those flowers that little um, bonsai gardens? Little bonsai gardens in there, or um, there's another one. An airplant? Not an airplane. I can't remember what it's called, but we used to have them. Succulents. That's what it is. Succulents. You could, put, you could put rocks and little succulents in there. It'll be a really, really rad piece. I really like this a lot. Um, it is. About four and an eighth inches wide that way by about two and five eighths this way. What's going on, Judy? Oh, and about two and a quarter inches tall bamboo. Everybody got bamboo, it. Bamboo, bamboo, lucky bamboo. There you go. And this little box, Westmoreland glass, can be yours for the low price of only nine dollars if you give me number three. Number three for nine dollars gets you the Westmoreland amethyst glass box. Congratulations to Nettie! Congratulations, Nettie! Winner, winner, succulent dinner! Congratulations and welcome to the party, Westmoreland glass candlesticks. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go back to back, Westmoreland glass here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these beauties. Here we have. Westmoreland glass satin frosted candlesticks. The name of this pattern is Doric. Um, so you have these bottoms here, and then the base, the middle parts are really cool too, like right there. And then you have the ribs around the top, and they are in fabulous condition. Absolutely, really cool, super rad. Westmoreland. The name of the pattern is Doric. Um, I think the name of this color is Green Mist. So Westmoreland Doric Green Mist Candlesticks. Boom. And the candlesticks are four and a half inches tall. And this pair of Westmoreland Doric Green Mist Candlesticks can be yours for an absolutely low price of only $15. Still of a deal if you give me number 13. Number 13 for a pair of Westmoreland Glass Green Mist Doric Candlesticks. Congratulations to Julie Schwartz. Congratulations, Julie. You are the winner, winner, winner. Candlelight dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right, all right, all right, all right. Next up, we have... Oh, I need to get new post-its. <laughs> Joe, Joe Deal says, how can you go wrong? Tim is writing your listing for you, too, with these great keywords. <laughs> I will keep an eye out for those in blue for you, Victoria, for sure. So next up, we have this Amberina glass flower. Um, so the flower kind of lays like this down flat. Um, it is a beauty, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I believe that the original top had a point similar to the points you see here, and that has chipped off. Um, 
it's it's kind of hard to tell for sure, but I'm almost a hundred percent sure. But I thought that it still made an absolutely beautiful display piece, especially when it's laying down like this. I mean, there's so much you can do with a piece like this. Absolutely stunning color, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it measures to be six and a half inches from the stem to the top. And it can be yours for an absolutely low price of only $9 if you give me number 18. Number 18 for $9 gets you the Amberina Glass Flower. Congratulations to Christina Gansowski. I need to learn how to say your name. I really do. I can't butcher it. Winner, winner, Amberina Flower Dinner. Congratulations and welcome back to the party, Christina. All right. Next up, we have this absolutely stunning red goblet here. She said, yes, you got it, Josie. Gonsowski. And this is made by Faustoria Glass. And the name of this pattern is Argus, A-R-G-U-S. And it is an absolutely beautiful goblet. I mean, look at that in the light. It is crazy. Now, this doesn't glow like super orange. Um, it, it It's not even really worth showing you at this point. But there are some parts of it that have a little hint of orange under the black light. But not really. Uh, just wanted to point that out as always. But this is an absolute beautiful piece here by Faustoria Glass. Uh, and it measures to be five inches tall and it can be yours for the low price of only seven dollars if you give me number 16. seven dollars for a fostoria goblet in the argus pattern i mean that is a steal an absolute beaut of a piece here ladies and gentlemen fostoria is one of the best glass making companies out there for sure Seven dollars, number sixteen for the Faustoria Argus goblet. Over time. Over time. Over time it is. All right. Let's do an elephant. All right. So next up we have this elephant here. So this elephant does not have a marking on it, but it is a beautiful piece. Look at that. It's pretty old. Yeah, probably 1950s. And you can see the blue eyes. And it's like a black almost at the top. And then it goes into the gray here. And then you can see the, the pink on the ears. There it is. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, what's funny is, is, what was that? Last sale, I had those two elephants. One sold. The other one didn't sell. I just sold it on eBay today for, I think it was like $13.99. So steals of a deal here if you guys want to get it. And they paid like probably a lot more shipping than I would have charged you guys. It's about two and a half inches at its tallest point by about two and three-fourths inches from trunk to tail and this elephant can be yours for the low price of only nine dollars if you give me number 34 number 34 for nine dollars gets you this beautiful cute little elephant figurine good luck trunk up good luck trunk up my dear i like son. that that's cute Overtime? Overtime. All right. I'm going to throw that one away. Post it. The post it? Yeah, I know. We can't say. It oh, sounded like you were going to throw it away. <laughs> Congratulations to Ruth Lawrence. Oh, winner, winner.
Congratulations, Ruth, and welcome to the party. No, I don't think so. Why? Oh. My nephew. It's a whole thing over here today. All right. So you guys might recognize this piece from a sale or two ago. We had one very similar. But the one that we had last time had a stronger um, – presence of opalescence around the edge. Now you can see there is a little bit of opalescence on this one, but it's not as prevalent as the last one we had. Now this is a proper antique. This piece is over a hundred years old. This is made by Northwood Glass Company. Once again, if you guys missed it, you can tell that it's an original versus a reproduction by the inside of the the piece right here because originally they are all made with this sort of gap but the reproductions these are solids in the middle as you can see um and this is called open o beaded panels by northwood glass company and you can see the beaded panels there and the open o is on the stem yeah, Vicky got the other one. She she knows this is a really nice piece. Now, typically, I mean, some of these can sell for upwards of fifty dollars, uh, and I'm gonna give you guys a steal of a deal on this piece right here. This antique Northwood compote it measures to be at its tallest point approximately four and a half inches, and about seven inches wide up top. And it can be yours for the low price of only $21 if you give me number 26. Number 26 for $21 gets you the antique Northwood open O beaded panel piece. An absolutely steal of a deal and a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Just a hint of the. Yeah, I showed it. Congratulations, Christina Gonskowski. <laughs> Congratulations, winner, winner, open O dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right. <clears throat> okay, next up is going to be another steal of a deal, ladies and gentlemen. I am giving you guys, uh, this is this one is crazy. All right, so this is a alabaster cigarette case. What's up, AJ? What do you want? Trinket box. You'll, can you just go take care of them, please? Is it him or? There seems to be multiple people in there. I told. Okay. And it does have a little AJ. ding right down here on the corner, as you can see. But besides that, it is in absolutely fabulous condition. You can see the inside of it. One of these sold recently, I believe, for $50. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. And it is genuine alabaster, hand-carved, made in Italy. And this box measures to be four and a quarter inches by two and three-fourths inches and two inches tall. And it can be yours for an absolute steal of a deal. Low, low price of only $17 if you give me number 21. Number 21 for $17 gets you the genuine hand-carved alabaster cigarette box. What's that your mom said before? I need a drink. <laughs> Congratulations to Proud American. <laughs> Congratulations, winner, winner, alabaster dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. She's back with a beat. All right. Next up. Springtime yellow. Yeah, uh, this is an awesome piece. <clears throat> Super undervalued. If you ask me, I love the shape of this. The color, too, right perfect for springtime. But just the lines in this, the Art Deco vibe, kind of. Um, the handle, look at the lines in that handle, the sharp lines on the panel, the sharp lines on the spout, absolutely gorgeous. Lovely piece. You have the ribbed edges down here at the bottom. 
Johnson? No, it's made by Independence Ironstone in Japan. There's the marking, and it is an absolutely gorgeous piece. And I'm going to give it to you guys at a steal of a deal. It does measure to be four inches tall, and it can be yours for only $7 if you give me number four. Number four for $7 gets you this springtime yellow Art Deco lined creamer by Independence Ironstone. An absolutely gorgeous piece, right in perfect time for spring. Seven dollars if you give Congratulations to Victoria H. Congratulations, Vicky. Winner, winner, springtime yellow dinner. Welcome to the party. Again. Again. All right, let's do this one. <clears throat> Next up, we have. Everybody loves a good blue bottle. This one was hiding in one of my bags. I have, don't know how I missed it. All right. And let's see if we can get the focus. Let me take the light off. Is that Phillips? What is it? Come on. There it goes. All right. Philips Milk of Magnesia tablets, tablet, tablets. And it is made in the USA bottle. And there you go. Made in USA. And it is a nice blue glass bottle. There you go right there. And... It measures to be three and a half inches tall. What's going on, Lisa and Rob? Checking in from a couple of pickers. If you guys aren't subscribed to them, one of the best channels to be subscribed to. Always a good time and always some crazy stuff that they're finding too. So shout out to Lisa and Rob over a couple of pickers. This blue glass Milk of Magnesia bottle can be yours for the low price of only $7 if you give me number 14. Number 14 for $7 gets you the Philips Milk of Magnesia Tablets Bottle made in the USA. Congratulations to Angela Marksbury. Angela Marksbury, congratulations. Winner, winner, so Milk of Magnesia Dinner. <laughs> congratulations was, and welcome to the party. That was nasty stuff. That milk of magnesia. <laughs> All right, I know you guys love these flowers, so we brought you guys some more Ainsley flowers. I don't know if these are chrysanthemums or not. I'm not chrysanthemums. sure. Chrysanthemums. Say chrysanthemums. 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 Sound like Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not quite. This is like a little bouquet, though. You got a little bit of a couple of different flowers here. Pansies. There's a pansy. Is that a sunflower right No, it's not a no, sunflower, it's but a pans the pansy at the top, rose. I don't know what that is with the little it's got nice detail. Yeah, very nice detail. And it's 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 cute. It's very sweet. It's small. It's yeah, giant. very small. At its tallest point, it measures to be about two and a quarter inches. And it is made by Ainsley Fine Bone China, which, if you don't know, is one of my favorites. I love Ainsley teacups. And this piece can be yours for a steal of a deal if you give me $11, number 40. Number 40, $11, gets you the Ainsley Ceramic Pansies and Roses. And some other flowers, too. Congratulations to Sue. Congratulations, Sue. You are the winner, winner, winner. Chrysanthemum dinner. All right. Next up, we have a... I believe this is made by Westmoreland Glass. It's a nice, cute little amber glass sort of beer barrel mug. 
you know. I mean, you could, I guess technically you could, this could be a shot glass, right? I mean, it's a, I know it's a toothpick know, holder. I'm just saying, you know, if you felt know. like taking shots, you could take a shot out of this. Yeah. And it is this cute amber glass. And it does have a little bit of texture on these, on, 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 uh, every other panel so it's a really cute little piece there and it measures to be two and a half inches tall and this westmoreland glass amber glass beer barrel mug toothpick holder slash shot glass can be yours for the low price of only seven dollars if you give me number nine number nine for seven dollars can get you this westmoreland glass toothpick holder slash <laughs> congratulations to amber resells hey amber welcome to the party congratulations winner winner shots 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 dinner <laughs> Josie, did you see what uh, Dana Grace 2010 says? And you know what? I was just going to say that, no, I'm not choosing that flower because you can't say it properly. And I love chrysanthemums. Like, well, that's what she said. Really she said. She said just a suggestion, no chrysanthemums. No, at this point, I'm just going to look at lilacs. Peonies. But I don't know if it'll be in season. Peonies? Peonies. Okay. Next up. We got this really interesting piece. It's time to let's get some more glow in the show. So this is like a frosted satin cased glass. So it, it's definitely like clear glass on the inside, but on the outside, it is this like frosted green glass. It is a compote. It has to glow. It, it does measure to be five and a quarter inches tall. Can somebody tell me? Did somebody say show your glow in the chat? Show your glow. Come on. <laughs> All right, my dukes. I'm trying to see this myself. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Pretty. Yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. Glow alicious. Glow alicious. Super pretty. All right, this bad boy can be yours for the absolutely low price of only $19 if you give me number five. Number five for $19 can get you this cased glass uranium glass compote. An absolutely beautiful piece. Steal of a deal. Congratulations to Andrea Guffey. Congratulations, Andrea. Winner, winner. Show your glow dinner. Welcome back to the party. All right. We're rocking. We're rolling. We're rocking and rolling. All right. So next up, we have a very special piece. So this one's going to be tough for me to say. Since we started saying chrysanthemums, I figured I might as well knock out the rest of the words I can't say while we're, while we're here. So... <laughs> This beautiful porcelain ceramic figurine of a hummingbird. I mean, look at the colors on this. Put the light back on. Look at the colors on that. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I mean, look at the details on the feet of the bird, the wrapping around too. Now, the tip of the hummingbird appears to be a little bit chipped. I couldn't tell. Really? Yeah, it's it's just a little teensy bit, but because it's so small. Now, this is actually made in Germany, as you can see, and it does have the marking, the WR made in Germany. That WR stands for Wilhelm Ritterscher. You sure you're saying it right? <laughs> You sure? It's German. It is Wilhelm. You got that right. Ritterschick. Let me see that. It's R I T T I R S C H. <laughs> she was like, "Let me see that." Okay. You tell me how you say that. 
Ritter, 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 Ritter. <laughs> we got a lot of Polish people in the show. Well, that's tonight. German, that's though. German people. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, these pieces can get kind of pricey. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna type type it in the chat for you guys. Just so just so everybody knows. That's what it is right there. So like some of these birds can get upwards of like into the 30s and $40. Now you can see anyway, it's just the pure beauty of it. I mean, you can tell the quality of the piece that it was made. Now at its tallest point, it measures to be three and a half inches tall and it can be yours for a steal of a deal. Absolutely low price of only $13 if you give me number 28. All number right, number 28, 28 for the Wilhelm Richersch. <laughs> the German hummingbird. Look at the beautiful colors on that piece. Oh, my goodness. All right, Sue, congratulations. It is yours. Congratulations, Sue. Winner, winner, William Richersher dinner. All right. Now, the first elephant is still available, but this second elephant here, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very unique piece. I want to say that this elephant might be a one of a kind. Now, I cannot tell you what it is exactly made out of. It might be ceramic, but it, I think that it's made out of some sort of stone. Now, the reason why I think that it's made out of some sort of stone is on the feet. On the two front feet, you can kind of see where the glaze has worn off, and it looks like it's showing like a stone. Now, you see, like right here, it's just, it looks like stone to me. Um, and this is definitely a one of a kind piece elephant, very artsy, done on some sort of stone, and it is green. And it is also a trunk up, so good luck, trunk up. And you can see the detail on the ear there and on the bottom of the feet. It does have the tail on the back. But a very unique elephant here. Now, it looks, and it only has one trunk. Now, this trunk might. Oh, you mean not one. It has um, horn, tusk. Tusk. But it's not broken off because the paint runs right into where the trunk is very interesting piece and you see how it still has the paint there like I don't, I don't know what to tell you guys it's just i thought it was super unique you guys know i like my my really uh unique I items nancy duke says it's italian pottery um all in the attic treasure says tim say Vega, ve Vega, Vega vitamin. Vita Vita Vegemin. It's a Lucille Ball thing in the Lucy show. Vita Vita Vegemin. Vega Vita Vegemin. And this elephant can be yours for the low price of only $11 if you give me number 33. Number 33 for the interesting, unique, one of a kind elephant. Congratulations to Cricket Harrington. Congratulations, Carissa Cricket. You are the winner, 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 uneven, non-symmetrical tusk dinner. Thank you, Dana, for pointing that out. And Nancy. And Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Hey, Christy, what's going on? Thank you for joining us, Tibby Winks. All right. Next up, we have these. Brown mid-century modern salt and pepper shakers. Now the the shape of these are eerily similar to that of Fiesta Ware. Now originally I thought maybe they weren't Fiesta Ware because I couldn't see the ridges because typically the Fiesta Ware kind of has these like rings around right here. But now that I look at this one, I kind of see them a little bit on this one. They're not as defined on this one now obviously on any most if not all fiesta shakers are not um 
are not marked on the bottom. Uh, Josie, can you type in the email address for Proud American because they can't see the scroll at the bottom. Josie's going to type it in for you right now. So these are possible brown Fiesta Wear mid-century modern-esque salt and pepper shakers. Are the stoppers kind of old looking? The stoppers are not that clear plastic, so they don't no. look like repros. They look old. Yeah, they're old, they're for old. sure. And the pair of shakers can be yours for the low price of only $9 if you give me number 12. Number 12 for $9 gets you the Fiesta Ware-esque, possibly, brown mid-century modern salt and pepper shakers. Number 12 for $9. Overtime? Overtime. <laughs> oh no. Uh it goes to Steve. Back Congratulations, alley. Congratulations, Steve. Trash and treasures. Back alley trash and treasures. Winner winner salt and pepper dinner. Congratulations and welcome back to the party. All right. Oh, I forgot. We were gonna say another word I couldn't pronounce. All right, so this is this blue opaline glass. Now you can see this piece has the ridge here. It used to have a top that was a condiment jar. Um, this is French made. And I love this maker and I love their pieces, but I cannot say their name. It is Porto Valerie Style. You better, you better write that. You better type that out. What do you... Pour two. P O R T I E U X. Valerie Stahl. V A L L E R Y S T H A L. Valerie Stahl. But it is a beautiful op opal blue sort of milk glass. And I mean, like the things you can do with this, like. That's why I, I, you know, obviously it doesn't have the top. It's not the original candy jar. But to me, the decor possibilities with something that's this beautiful is endless. So I thought it was an amazing piece. Um, and it is antique. This piece is over 100 years old. And it is three and a quarter inches tall. And it can be yours for the low price of only $9 if you give me number 11. Number 11 for $9. Gets you the Porto Valerisal blue opal candy dish jar thing. Congratulations to Elizabeth Bergy Anderson. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Winner, winner, French dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right. Next up, we have a beautiful Wedgwood Jasperware Butter Pat. I forget the name of this motif. Cupid Sleeping, maybe? I don't know, but somebody's getting yelled at. That one woman in the robe is pointing her finger at the person sitting down in the chair, so somebody's in trouble. But it has a nice <laughs> ribbed stuff going, the ribbed edging or fluted is what the proper term of that is. And it is marked Wedgwood made in England. And it is a butter pat. It does measure to be three inches wide. And this piece of Wedgwood Jasperware butter pat can be yours for the low price. Oh, I'm sorry. Oopsie. What? It's a battlefield over there. What's going on, guys? Maz Dukes, come. It's tight quarters here. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Sorry. That's going to be a good YouTube short. Uh, and this piece of Wedgwood Jasperware can be yours for the low price of only $7. If you give me number 17. Number 17 for $7 for the Wedgwood Jasperware Butter Pat. An absolutely beautiful piece. Steal of a deal. My dudes don't even drink. That's the thing. She doesn't. No. 
crazy. Congratulations to wake up the, with the rooster. Congratulations, rooster. Winner, winner. Butter pat dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. Yes. Sorry for the minor turbulence, folks. <laughs> All right, so this this is probably one of my favorite pieces of the evening. Um, if you watched us in the live preview show, you would have seen this piece. And I was actually very surprised when I was doing the research on how valuable it actually is. Uh, this is made in Czechoslovakia. Get a little light. There you go. And it is this little cute, it's it's like a tomato red. So it's a little orange red, and it is a polka dot creamer. Absolutely amazing, gorgeous. And it's it's like thin, so it's super well made, definitely very old. I've seen a couple of these. They, they actually have like a teapot and all that set. This, they're pretty hard to come by. I only saw a few of them. Seat belt sign on, sit down, and buckle up. Uh, and this amazing Czechoslovakian polka dot creamer measures to be two and a half inches tall, and it can be yours for the low price of only eleven dollars if you give me number twenty-five. Number twenty-five for eleven dollars gets you the Czechoslovakian polka dot creamer. An absolutely steal of a deal and an awesome piece. Congratulations to Nancy Duke. Congratulations, Nancy. Winner, winner, polka dot dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. Okay. All right, so this next piece is going to be super hard to show you guys, but it is a very interesting. This is a camel. It is a miniature pewter camel. It is made in 1981. It is marked on the camel, 1981, and it also says pewter on there, and it also has a number, and it is made by Hudson. Hudson Pewter Camel Miniature figurines and it is a cutie i'll see if i can't still not focusing i wanted to show you guys his face because he's got a cute little face it's very intricate there. Yeah, very intricate. You, you can see it now. Yeah. And so it measures to be about an inch and a quarter from the width and is just one inch tall. And th like these, these, uh, these pewter pieces can sell anywhere from like 15 to $20. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and so I'm going to give you guys a steal of a deal on this. This pewter camel from 1981, Hudson. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that, Maria. And this pewter camel can be yours for the low price of only $9 if you give me number 31. Number 31 for $9 gets you the pewter camel by Hudson from 1981. Congratulations to Elizabeth. Congratulations, Elizabeth. You are the winner, 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 pewter <laughs> dinner. All right. So we are down to the last few items, and they are all going to be uranium glass. So we're going to just turn off the lights here, and we're going to roll right through it. How many items do we have? One, two, three, four, five. And then five, and then over time is two pieces right now. Okay. All right. Next up, we have this uranium glass cruet. This is made by Hazel Atlas. It is marked Hazel Atlas on the bottom, as you can see. And I love the shape of this 
It is absolutely amazing. And let's go ahead and show the glow. Oh, yeah. Look at that beauty. Mm. Beautiful piece. All right. We're going to hit the light. Oh, I thought we were going to leave it off. Well, oh. all right. Look, out of the, yeah, you can't, can't leave it off. can't see me. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's four and three-fourths inches tall, and this Hazel Atlas uranium glass cruet can be yours for the low price of only $15 if you give me number two. Number two for $15 gets you the uranium glass Hazel Atlas cruet. Congratulations to Empty Nesting 2, a.k.a. Maria. Maria, congratulations. Winner, winner, Hazel Atlas dinner. All right, sticking with Hazel Atlas, we're going to go to this awesome Hazel Atlas uranium glass salt and pepper shaker. So it's only one. It's only one shaker, but these are hard to come by. Um, this is the has the Art Deco sort of bottom half beehive pattern going on at the bottom there with the original top also as you can see uh, which is super rad very awesome shaker i mean I just, the shape of that is so art deco and it's about three and three fourths inches tall lights okay oh yeah yes and Ooh. the oh the light 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 Oh, yeah. Look at that baby glow. Oh, nice. Yep. So, steal of a deal here. This uranium glass Hazel Atlas shaker can be yours for the low price of only $11 if you give me number 15. Number 15 for $11 gets you the Hazel Atlas uranium glass shaker. Congratulations to Vintage Digs. Congratulations, Vintage Digs. Winner, winner, shaker dinner. Congratulations and welcome to the party. All right. Next up, this I think is one of the most awesome candlestick shapes I've seen. I, it's not like super intricate, but it's just it's unique to me. So you have the base here, and then you kind of have like this like another like circular base there. And then you have this here, and then inside it has the ridge where the candle can kind of sit. It's just very uniquely shaped, and it is adorable. And this does glow, ladies and gentlemen, lights. How's this light? What? Oh, no. What? It got a glow. What, what happened? happened? Sorry. Oh crap. That's crazy. It, I saw the glue when you got it. So did I. Well, we are. All right, we scratch are. that. <laughs> it All right, does we're gonna not move, glow. We're gonna move on to the next one. We know this one. <laughs> That's crazy. It, I it, oh, well. Maybe I put the maybe I have another yeah. other one somewhere. Low malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is a gorgeous cordial glass. And look at the base on this. Look at the details on that base. Absolutely gorgeous. Now this one does glow. Yeah, that one glows really nice. Super green. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that base. Yeah, the base is just fabulous. And it, it even glows, not just the base, but the stem right here too, which is really beautiful. And it measures to be approximately three and three-fourths inches. And it can be yours. The, st <laughs> the struggle bus is in overdrive. I'm telling you, Pete, it has been a day for me, buddy. And it can be yours for the low price of only $9 if you give me number... 
seven. Number seven for nine dollars gets you the uranium glass, awesome based cordial glass, an absolute beauty. Congratulations to Andrea Guffey. Congratulations, Andrea. Winner, winner, uranium cordial dinner. Welcome back to the party. All right, ladies and gentlemen, another lovely piece here. Now, these are absolutely stunning. I'm going to turn the light on for a quick second so you can see this etching here. Look at the etching on these. An absolute. So they're optic ribbed and etched. Beautiful champagne or sherbets, whatever you want to call them, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Now, one of them does have a chip on the base right there, but besides that, they're good to go. Beautiful nice pieces. Place. Oh, yeah, really beautiful. I mean, this the etching when you have this optic ribbing in there and then you have the band etching and the flower etching, I mean, just the three, a combination of that is amazing. Yes. And you can see. Very delicate. Very nice. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Very beautiful pieces. And you can have the oh, let me measure them for you really fast. They measure to be four and a half inches tall, and these can be yours for the low, low price of only $17 for the pair. If you give me number 19, number 19 for the pair of optic etched champagne glasses, uranium, absolute beauties. Congratulations to Kevin Stanforth. Congratulations, Kevin. Winner, winner, champagne dinner. Welcome to the party. All right, overtime. So we do have two pieces that are going that are still available that nobody claimed. Are you doing overtime or am I doing overtime, Josie? I'll do it. It's fine. I mean, unless the noise in the background is too much. <clears throat> All right, what is it? Okay. So for the first one, it's going to be the McCoy Grape Pitcher. The McCoy Grape Pitcher, it's nine and a quarter inches tall. As you can see, the colors are brown. There are some green, some cream, some very nice colors on this pitcher. And it could be yours for $13. This McCoy great pitcher. Congratulations to Irene Fink. Congratulations, Irene. Winner, winner, McCoy dinner. Welcome to the party. And lastly, we have the red goblet, the Fastoria red goblet. And you said the pattern in Argus? Argus, A-R-G-U-S. Argus. Argus. Yes, the Red Argus Goblet by Fistoria. Number 16, congratulations to Tree Is Me. Congratulations, Tree Is Me. Winner, winner, Ruby Red Dinner. Woo, we made it at exactly 9.30. Even with the turbulence, uh, you know, a couple of lights being out and... Uh, the struggle bus has finally reached its destination. I want to thank all you lovely people in the chat for sticking with us on that ride of the struggle No kidding. Bus. No kidding. We thank wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. Uh, I will be going back for another pick on Saturday. And so Sunday. no, that's next, that's next month. next month. Next month is a big giant pick, and we're gonna do the wedding uh sale after that. Yep. But this Saturday I'm going back to um to uh, uh my Our honey hole. Yeah, my honey hole, my pick. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have a whole 
lot of goodies. I'm super excited as always. Make sure you guys head over to Misty's channel um, for the Vintage Rescue Squad. And make sure you guys tell her that Tim from over the years, Tim and Josie from over the years sent you sent guys. Thank you over there. Yep. Uh, go ahead over there. I really appreciate you all as always. It means the, the world to me that you guys, you know, hang stick around and stick with us. Yeah. Stick with all the kerfuffle. Thick uh, and thin. I am going to be dropping a video on Wednesday. I'm going to be part of a challenge. It's going to be a 99 cent auction challenge. So I'm going to show you 10 items and then you guys, my viewers will vote on five items that I'm going to put on auction for 99 cents for a seven day auction. It's going to start at 99 cents, free shipping. Mm -hmm. And whoever of all the people in the challenge, whoever gets the, whoever makes the most money on those five items wins the challenge. So I'm trying to win because I'm a competitor. Uh, but I would really appreciate if you guys check that video out and help me with that challenge. More information will be coming soon to the channel. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go over to Misty's channel and thank you guys as always. We love you very much. I will be sending out invoices starting tonight. So make sure you guys email me your information if I do not have it already. Thank you guys. And we will see you soon. I'm going to go get a hot cup, hot stiff cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stay classy, YouTube. Peace. Bye, guys.